What's up, boys? Welcome back to my YouTube video. Today, I'm going to be with my cousin Paul and my friend Dylan. Dylan's a little weird, but it's okay. We're going to make it work. So, today, we're going to be going and looking at all the fishing spots for spring and everything. Pike, dogfish, catfish, bluegill, and bass. And hopefully, we can just slay some big ones. Make sure to leave a comment what, I, what other video ideas you want for me to do. And leave a like and subscribe. See you out there, boys. All right, boys. We're coming up on the first spot right here. Go ahead, show them. Nice little dock, and we're gonna be throwing just a net rig just to check out the space, see if any open water's out already yet. So, yeah, we're gonna check it out. Hopefully, Dylan doesn't fall in. <laughs> in <there. laughs> All right, boys, finally found some open water. All right, boys, after that dramatic Dylan moment, um, I'm just going to show you the spot right around here. We catch a lot of pike over in those weeds, over in those weeds to the side. And then right here, catch some baby catfish and bluegill. And then on this side, we've seen a few dogfish just chilling around here, probably just looking for some bluegill. But hopefully they come back here this summer uh, slash spring. We can just... Catch them, finally know where they're going, and be ready for them. And well, let's start walking to the next I've always just made it to the next spot. Can go check it out? Um, hopefully, it doesn't get too cold, but, but we just made it to this spot. Um, looks pretty nice. We have some nice little swans over here. One of them looks like it's tagged, and what looks like a loon. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Usually, we catch a pike down there. I don't know if you guys can see all the way down there, but it's like all the way ice. There's like a little dock down there. We'll show you guys in a second. But this is the spot right here. Looks pretty nice. Hopefully we can catch some biggins out here this year. Maybe some dogfish. We haven't ever caught a dogfish out here. But, you know, never know. And yeah, let's start going to the other spot. All right, boys, we just made it to this spot. It's called the Pike Spot. Me and my cousin, Pond Willie, I'll put his link down in the description again. We caught seven pike here in one day, just by casting spinner baits, swim baits, and just everything on this side. I've never caught a pike on this side, but it looks very just juicy and stuff. We've seen a lot of uh, dogfish on this side. So yeah, we haven't really caught any fish on this side. Um, I have snapped off a few times though by pike and dogfish. And then usually the lily pads grow right in this little dip right here on the left or right. Just kind of growing on that dip and then dogfish and bass in top water. There. It's very nice. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. Um, we'll start going back to the next spots. What's up, boys? We're at the next spot that we're going to be checking out today. Usually, what we do is we see some carp that come all the way from the middle, and they just come all the way down to here. They just swim back and forth and back and forth, just, I don't know, looking for food or whatever. And then we see some dogfish, and then we find some bluegill, chop them up, and put them on the hook, and we cast them out, dead stick for a little bit. And then we end up catching, like, six-pound dogfish, five-pound dogfish. And it's just a lot of fun, great time. But, yeah, that's about it over here. And sometimes we catch some perch, bluegill, and crappie. But, yeah, we're going to keep walking, see what else we can see. Warm and also, sometimes, as we're just walking down the trail, we come down here... There's a little log right here. Uh, spawning bass will come up right under here. And then if you cast a spinner bait out, there's some pike, bass, dogfish that'll come up and eat it. But I love fishing here a lot for spawning bass and spawning bluegill and everything. It just works out very well. And I'm sure you guys will see a lot of this coming up in the summer slash spring. And hopefully we can catch a PB. So yo, let's go to the next spot. <laughs> Oh boys, we're not really supposed to be down here, but it's a very good fishing spot. This is the best spot for bluegill. Um, bluegill, crappie, and perch. Just cast it right along here. If you cast it out more, there's a lot of crappie out there. And then, I think this is a new tree from last year. We'll have to check the footage, but under it is a lot of bass, bluegill, and dogfish. And, we haven't really caught in the pike out here. We had one on, but then it came up, came off right at right at the dock. So yeah, that's about it. But 
we can catch any more this year. Hopefully it's a big one, PB and trophy sized fish. And yeah, let's get it. So over at this spot, um, well there's a lot of this top water action as you probably can expect with all these hangovers just all along over here. And then, well there also is sometimes a, some bass that spawn over on this side. Just a lot. And that's about it. But maybe sometimes bluegill will come in. Dogfish will just murder them. And yeah, that's about it. Hopefully we can not let those dogfish murder and hopefully he doesn't fall in again. And he's kind of special. Well, that's, that's about it. Alright boys, thank you for watching this video. Make sure to get me to 50 subs. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Comment other ideas that you have for me. And um, yeah, we should be coming out with one every two every week. And yeah, that's about it. See you boys out there.